Hi everyone, this is Ms. Baumgartner and I'm here to teach you how to use the Libby app. So if you are working on an iPad or an iPhone, then there's another video about using the app. This is actually going to be for using the, um, the app on a browser. Now Libby is a tool to access your public library's e-resources online. Um, if you are a member of the Wheaton Public Library, Glen Ellen Public Library, or Lombard Public Library, this will work for you or any other public library. And if you are actually in an unincorporated neighborhood, don't forget that you can get a library card through the Glen Ellen Public Library temporarily right now. There's another tutorial for that um, on the table in that document that was shared. All right, so we are going to go to LibbyApp.com, and the first thing that's going to pop up is this if you haven't signed on before. So it's going to ask, do you have a library card? We'll push yes. You should have already gotten that beforehand. Um, you can search for your library. I go to the Wheaton Public Library. Make sure you have the right address. And then it's going to say, where do you use your library card? I use mine at Wheaton Public Library. And it's going to ask me to type it in. Okay. So we'll sign in here, and you can sign in on multiple accounts. All right, so let's push next. Now, if you accidentally somehow uh, bypassed all that information there, you can still go to the Libby app, and you can click on this menu here, and you can add a library. You can add your library cards through here. And just to note, too, that if you're a member of more than one library or if you have um, multiple family members with multiple libraries, you can add more than one library. All right, so to navigate in Libby is pretty simple. On the bottom left is the library, oopsies, and on the bottom right is the shelf. The shelf is going to be all the books that you have checked out or put on hold, and the library is like going to the library. So let's try searching for a book. So let's say we were looking for a book by Andrew Clemens. Okay, so when we search Andrew Clemens, everything by Andrew Clemens is going to come up and we can browse through and see what we're interested in. Now if you see a plus sign next to it right here, it means the book is available and you can add it to your shelf. If you see a calendar next to it, it means the book is not available, but you can place it on hold. Remember, placing a book on hold means you're getting in line to get the book. Um, books, ebooks work the same as regular books in the library, so there might be three e-copies of the book just the way that there would be three copies of a book in a library, or whatever the number is. So if there's three e-copies of the book, only three people can have it checked out. All right, so let's say I want to get this Frindle audiobook. Okay, I see it's audio right down here. I can learn more information by clicking it. Tell me about the duration, any other information that I think is easy or interesting for me. I can see that there's two or four copies available. I can read a synopsis. I can push the borrow button here, or of course, you can just push borrow if you already know it's what you want right here. It'll give you the information about how many loans you have left on your library card here. And then once you borrow it, you can either go to open your audiobook, keep browsing, or go to your shelf to see all the books that you have on loan or on hold. Let's keep browsing to show you how to put a book on hold. And by the way, putting a book on hold is the same way, or checking out a book is the exact same as um, doing it with an audiobook too. Okay, so let's say I want, I want to listen to Frindle, but I also want to read Frindle. Um, I can place a hold on this book, or let's just say a different book so it's easier. I can place a hold on this book. Now one thing that's kind of nifty here is when you look at this calendar, you can see that the hold for Frindle, all those dots in the calendar, is longer than the hold for the school story. If I press the place hold button, I can see um, that they're going to probably give me an estimate of how long. Now it says zero copies in use, zero people waiting. So I'm not sure why it's having me put a hold there. But let's see what happens when I do Frindle. Uh, it says here it will be ready for you to borrow in about 14 weeks. Now that seems like a long time, but all the time I put holds on books, I forget about them, and then I get that email or the notification that it came in. So um, don't be afraid to put on a long hold. All right, so I found some books I'm interested in. Um, just another note about doing the searches here. You can do a search. So let's say instead I was looking for something by um, Catherine Applegate. Here we are. You can refine your search to make it um, like an audiobook format only. So if you're only looking for an audiobook or anything else like that. 
um, you can refine your search. You can also refine to like juvenile, which would be kids books versus adult books. Okay, so I found books that I'm interested in. Oh, by the way, a cool tool here. You can explore different types of books and just kind of check out um, some books that they might recommend to you. So this could be a great way to find some new books that you haven't read before. But let's go back, back on track. Um, you can check out your shelf after you get the books that you're interested in reading. When you go to your shelf area, you can either just scroll and look at your books or you can use these little um, buttons here. So if I click my loans, I can see all the books that I have checked out right now. Okay. When I open a book, you can either click the picture or click the open book button. The book will load for you and it should pick up where you last left off. But to read the book, you just click up here. And then to turn the page, you just click on the side. Okay, you can go back. You can navigate between contents. Uh, these are links, the table of contents. Or if you click on the bottom, you can use this slider to jump between pages. So this little ticker here, these are pages. So like this is page 50. Um, every 10 pages is marked off. And then any bold little ticker you see there, that is the um, like a chapter or a section number. So I can jump to chapter two this way also. All right. Now, if you're using an audiobook, it's just about the same thing. So if I were to open Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate, I can open it up and let's see if it's loading or not. When I'm ready, I can push play. Listening Library presents Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. Perfect. Now, as you see, it's already started ticking down. Um, this ticker does minutes instead of pages, and I can jump two chapters by sliding this around. Another way that I can navigate is by pushing this hamburger menu option over here, clicking chapters, and jumping between them there. Um, other cool options that you can have on here are if you want to speed up how fast it's read so you can read the book a little bit faster, you can um, change that. You can set it to sleep mode so you can listen to it as you fall asleep, or you can bookmark pages with your notes as you read and you can access those bookmarks here. All right, so let's go back. Just wanna make sure that everyone knows. We'll go back here. Um, when you're ready to return a book, you just click this Manage Loan, but you also have to keep track of when your book is due. Um, usually, you can extend a book as long as there's no hold on it. But Manage Loan, we could return early if we're done reading it. That way, the next person in line can get it. And then if we want to check out our hold, we can see about 12 weeks, unknown weight, unknown weight. We can manage a hold by suspending it or canceling it here. And that is pretty much it. If you want to tag books for a reading list, books you liked, didn't like, things you want to read in the future, you can use that tool. But that is about it. So if you have any questions on how to use Libby or looking for any tips, feel free to contact your Library Media Center director, and she will be happy to help you out. All right, everyone. Enjoy.